from Lower Manhattan, Antoine Lewis, Fox News. The Marshawn Lynch biopic no longer in production. I do have some hope that we could salvage our friendship and salvage the film. Up next, we talk to the film's director about the fallout that led to the NFL star stopping production. Plus, ca caught in the act. Aren't you Marshawn Lynch? You got to tell me something. Is you a reporter? No. You sure? Yep. All right, what's up? What you got for me? It's the film about Marshawn Lynch we might never see. Tonight, we are learning from the film's director about the fallout that led the NFL star and Oakland native to stop it from going to theaters. The film was shot last year and chronicles Lynch's life and rise to stardom in the NFL. We've only seen a preview, but apparently it was enough for Lynch to change his mind about its production. New at 10, KTV's Amber Lee spoke with a Bay Area filmmaker who made the movie with Lynch to get his side of the story. Amber. Ken the Richmond man who wrote and directed the film is a family friend of the football star. He says he and Marshawn Lynch are no longer speaking. He still hopes that the film will be shown one day. At the Albany Bowl this evening, Marshawn Lynch's foundation, Family First, held a fundraiser. It was a night for fans to give to the 28-year-old's charity. We're big Seahawks supporters. We're really excited to meet Marshawn. Lynch did not show up at the fundraiser while we were there. You want to shoot? In March 2014, in a one-on-one -on -one interview with me, he talked about his life and his work with underprivileged children from a background similar to his. From, what, five years old, you know, having some of your, some of your homeboys getting killed at that age, uh, you know, it prepared you for, for a lot. He asked me to do his movie. I didn't go and solicit him. Tonight, Mario Bobino, who is a family friend of Lynch's, says he agreed to write and direct the football star's life story last year. Lynch acted in the film along with hundreds of local people hired for it. Hey, aren't you Marshawn Lynch? You got to tell me something. Is you a reporter? Bobino says he released this promo about the film entitled Family First without Lynch's permission, and that angered Lynch. I apologize for it, which I shouldn't have done. But, uh, you know, I was just happy about the film. Bobino says he never heard from Lynch himself that Lynch didn't like the film. The filmmaker now says it was the running know, back's listen. agent Those who said the film was terrible. Up, huh? Bobino says he owns the copyright to the script and the film. But without Lynch's permission, a film about Lynch's life story cannot be released. I do have some hope that we could salvage our friendship and salvage the film. So it's like that? Slow pass, just let class president walk in whenever he feels like it. Whenever I walk in late, it's all bad. Fans at Lynch's charity event tonight say they would be interested in seeing a film about his life. I'm still going to try to get that. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm going to try to find it on the internet somewhere. Why is that? Just want to see, just see about him growing up as a kid here in Oakland. I spoke with Lynch's PR person at tonight's charity event and others who work for him. They all told me Lynch will not answer questions about the movie. Bobino said the film had a $100,000 budget. Hmm. So who's out the money? It, it was $100,000, but you talked to uh, Mario, the filmmaker, and he said he's just out his time. The money has actually gone From where? From investors. Uh, I guess Marshawn Lynch, according to Bobino, paid the investors the $100,000. So it's more about the time and effort that was put into this film, along with the hundreds of people, local people that were hired to act, into, act in it, that are disappointed that the film will likely not be shown. And Marshawn went to Mario, said, make this movie for me, and he did, and now it's not gonna happen. We're not gonna see this. Most likely not, although he holds out some hope. He says it's not likely, and to me what was interesting was he was asked, Mario was asked to do the film by Marshawn Lynch, according to Bobino, the day, that night after we interviewed Marshawn Lynch, because hmm. Bobino had a hand in helping us get the interview with Marshawn Lynch. Well, he's such an interesting guy. It would be nice to see, like, I know some, so many people follow him with his rise to the NFL and his, his success. Nice. Yeah, all right. Amber, thank you. Thank you.